intentional wisdom, um, people would say that Snake probably wins it. Uh, probably. Just to just look at the list. Uh, oh, although hail grenades. I did not know that. Dude has got a little bit better at fighting, like the uh, projectile characters. characters. A little bit better. I knew Still not great at. I knew he could kind of reflect the things back, but uh, I thought I kind of figured it would be like uh, Wario. Oh, yeah, Wario, well, like you just chew on them and then blow up. Okay, that's a little heavy commitment uh, going for like Ooh. forward smash like that. Yeah. Let's uh -oh. see if he. Okay, on with the with the set. Air right there back. you Ooh. go. That's a classic setup. You, you, you see that a lot. It's like you try to catch. It catches everything. It catches get up. It catches roll. The only thing it doesn't catch is get up attack. Yeah. Well, I think he actually did get up attack there. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess it I guess it worked. <laughs> um, the really with the uh, on, on in this game at least, like yeah. everyone's ledge hang is a lot better now. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to just kind of like hang out, chill, see yeah. what you want to do, plan it out. So we just saw a really, really, really solid play right there just to land a up till. Okay. There we go. A little uh, combo just there. Keep it, keep it, keep it under control. They're out of shield. You see a lot of times snake players will go like back and forth between uh, like a really zone heavy style yeah, and like and the occasional just like run you down with like a down air or like a dash tag or something. Yeah. Um, which is smart. You, ideally, that's how you want to play with snake. Keep you guessing. Yeah. Yep. All right, so we're seeing him play a load of footsies here. The game is pretty close to even. Um, Ooh, Perry coming out of my Godo. And heavy, big, big characters like uh, like Dedede really get really get punished a lot by uh, Perry's, just because it's not hard. It's not that hard. their moves have some substantial yeah. lag anyway. Yeah. Just add Perry lag to it. All their first actual frames are pretty good. So. All right, I don't know about the down smash. Yeah. If you guys above you. Ooh, he forgot about the uh, landmine. All right, he's doing a good job of keeping him away. Snake can just kind of stay up there forever. <laughs> yeah, and he, all, he has so many movement options with uh, like beer verse, uh, wave bounce, and his, grenades. His, his drift isn't even that bad. It's not. So. And then he always, even after the end of all those specials, he can always just air dodge. Ooh. We're seeing some really good spacing coming out of him right now. Gordon stick. Ooh. Double up smash to really just lose his options. Ooh. That F smash. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of wait there. Um, I, I don't know what uh, Snake's uh, dev attack is, but I think he was kind of scared of doing it again after uh, he got punished for it last time. Oh. Putting a little pressure on there right now. Up smashes. Nice yeah. little coverage there. All right, if he, if he plans to grab, okay. Yeah. Uh, that I was almost bad. Almost. To be fair, if he would have been pulled into that up up tilt. Uh, oh, yeah. box there. He got stuck in a uh, neutral B start up there. Can we get the? Uh, I don't think it is right now. What? Oh, tournament discussion. Okay, that's why I couldn't find it. Never mind. Uh. A kind of dominant showing there from uh from Plugwall there. I think that was a two stock. Um Yeah, that was good stuff. Um it's still a close matchup. I think uh DDD really needs to uh um, Figure out how to approach this character. <laughs> uh, you can't, you can't. Alright. Yeah, you can't, uh, you can't really play a split. Most characters can't play a spacing game against me. Yeah. To get in. And, uh, especially like with, uh, I'd like to see some more, uh, like, he's doing a, a really heavy Gordo based play style, mm -hmm. and, uh, I, I think, like, especially with, like, the way Bear has been buffed, um, I'm thinking more along the lines of, like, how uh, some other of the DVDs play. They'll, like, rely heavily on Bear as, an, uh, as a solid approach option. Yeah, if we're especially. talking about, like, the traditional, we see a lot of falling, Nairs, um, up air is really good. Uh, they'll summon space, Bear and Fair, kind of like a sortie. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Plugwalk's doing a great job of reflecting these borders back and uh, mm -hmm. kind of keeping those... I think, I think really, I think really Coco's 
like got the mindset of him right now. Like I need to suck up these projectiles and like throw them back. Yeah. Um, and while that Ooh. helps get pressure, all right, he gets a gets a break there. A little bit of a free stock. A little bit of a free stock for him. Kind of a lucky break. Almost that uh, down throw up tilt percents for uh, Snake. Ooh, just gonna go ahead and use C4 right there. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, Man. that that Nair into up tilt. Those are some classics. bread and butters. You really can't charge to smash tag that long against uh, somebody who's. Oh, Ooh, really low. He's going to have to nade himself. Uh, he doesn't even go yeah, for it. Uh, his C4 was, was on the yeah, stage. Yep, the stage. He knew that it wouldn't do him anything. Mm -hmm. Jab, jab. Ooh. Yeah, he was ready for he it. He saw the mentality. He had the same idea that we did. There you Ooh, go. I like that. Jab, jab, because you know you're covered by the uh, up smash. But so you can like, go for a grab or something. It, it still beat it out, though. That was, that yeah, it was that a good was idea. Very, yeah. It was a good idea. So right, much, this game's doing much better for uh, Coco, Coco this time. Definitely. He's keeping a pretty good lock on him. He, he does need to get in. Ooh. Probably going for a parry right there and just early on the release. Ooh. Yeah, the uh, knockback on that uh, Late hit dash attack dash is dash pretty, pretty frightening. The angle it sends you is very disadvantageous. Ooh, pulling out the, uh, the grenade launcher for that F smash there. Kind of a high risk when you uh, when you're at this percent and that much of a deficit. Yep. All I need is one really one need to be a solid hit. Ooh, dash attack known for being like lasting a long time. And yeah, landing with the, the back air. That'll close it out. All right, so we're gonna see a game three. Yeah. In the uh, opening game. Exciting stuff. I like to keep it nice and esports. Very competitive. Transition there. Fancy transition. Yeah, Kudos to the production team. Excellent job. It's constantly been improving ever since. Uh, like years, like even years ago with the Noel attorneys, it used to just be just a simple little stream with one little camera yeah. on each player. Now you got these fancy transitions. It's Production so great to see all this. All right, I'm going to tap out. I got to go play match. So. Go do it. Good luck. Let's see. Back to Kalos. Um, probably a little bit of a salty run back here from Plugwalk. Um, down throw. Oh, nades himself, unfortunately, there. And uh, kind of bit at a little boxing match right now. Uh, even percents. Oh, there's a lot of borders going out right now. C4, down. And he's going to start walling him out with these projectiles. Ooh, just kind of sitting there. Ooh, C4 almost getting in. And uh, back to an even game. Coco's really uh, relying on these gorgos here. And uh, Logwalk's really having trouble kind of uh, retaliating with it as far as knocking them back. He's not really even attempting to knock them back. He's mostly just going for shield and uh, or taking the hit. There we go. Uh, Nikita going to take that one. And he's going to reset C4, try and get something started. Ooh, back, you're gonna poke the shield there. You're gonna recover high. Nice up tilt coming up in DDD. And that'll be the stop, yeah. A much closer game. Um, F throw, getting the tech read. And. Trying to get another F tilt started. Um, I'd like to see a little bit more ledge trapping come into play. Um, DD really doesn't have that great of an option, creative options. And uh, it was kind of a weird choice, in my opinion, from Bloodwalk to even go here when uh, when uh, the platforms above the ledge kind of block his uh, up smash from doing anything. It'll uh, it'll catch jumps, but uh, up smash would do that anyway without the platforms. Ooh. Nikita gonna take another hit. Didn't get full there. And he looks like he's fishing for an up to take the stock. Ooh, F smash there. Really could have just used just about any other tilt to help take that stock.
interesting choice. Uh, down throw, up tilt should have been true there. Um, maybe a little bit of nerves coming in for uh, plug walk here. Um, so, this is game three. This is game three, and there goes the C4. Turny stock, right? There. Not turny stock. <laughs> Another C4. Yeah, um, Plugwalk's been playing uh, kind of heavy projectiles ever since uh, he kind of lost the second game to a couple SDs. Ooh, going for that grenade combo. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. How does he for Invincibility going to keep that, uh, that up smash going. Unsafe. Ooh, tech Ooh. chase. Down tilt, String quick going. 50 damage. Did DDD power through Nikita? I think it just went through the gap between Gordo and uh, Side B. Looking for an up kill here, dash tag. Yeah, this should be around down tilt, up throw percent, up, down throw, up tilt percents for uh, Snake. So 160, he's got a little more to go for that. Oh, okay. That Gordo will hit below the ledge. Okay, That's such a scary option. Ooh. He's got that throw combo now. There Th it is. That will kill him. Yep. Hmm?